Hello everyone, in the previous episode I showed you how I built this tabletop for the router and in this episode I will show you how I built the lifting and dropping mechanism. The mechanism is based on a card lift design, so when the screw in the middle will be rotated clockwise then we will have a lift and of course if the screw is rotated counterclockwise then we will have a drop. Now, my router spring have a compressed possibility of about 5 cm, therefore I have to make sure that my lift has a vertical movement of at least this distance. So, supposing that I will use this length of the wood pieces for the lift arms, the vertical distance between the maximum close position and the maximum open position is about 6 or 7 cm. Therefore, I could use some shorter arms, for example, starting from here, as uh, open position till here as a close position I have at least 3 cm vertical distance and considering then the upper part of the lift I will have at least 6 cm of total lift which is sufficient for what I need. For the base articulation I will use some hinges while for the middle articulation I will just make a mobile joint. prepared the two lower arms with a total length of 16 cm each and I will mark now the cuts for the middle joint. a 20 mm drill bit and then a normal saw to cut the edges for the arms articulation. I also prepared here two wood pieces for the upper arms that will fit perfectly in the gap of the lower arms that we just did. All I have to do now is to drill some holes for the articulation shaft. For the lift base I will use two pieces of plywood that glued on top of each other will have the same thickness as the arms.
the articulation shaft I will use two 6mm screws. Also attaching on one of the arms two metal brackets that will be used to hitch the main elevating screw. To attach the arms to the base I will use some small hinges. Therefore I will mark the spots and I will pre-drill some holes and I will use some 16mm screws. So the articulation seems to work well, but I just figured out a problem. I cannot pass the screw through the middle of the lift in a horizontal position. But the good news, there is another way to do it. So I think we can mount it vertically crossing through the base. In order to mount the lifting screw, I have drilled a hole in the lift base. I will use then a wood lock nut and I will try to lock it there by applying the counter force with a normal nut on the other side of the base. This should be enough, so for the moment I can take the shaft out. I don't need those brackets anymore, so I can take them out. And I will need them here in the upper part, so I'll try to make a mechanism over here. I 
I have cut an 8mm thread bar for the lifting screw at about 35cm long. I have also prepared a small piece of hardwood that will rest on the head of the lifting screw and will be fixed to the top of the lift. The small hole in the wood is just to avoid the lifting screw drifting. Now let's try to put the lifting screw at its place. I will use the drill just to make it faster. I will also add a small piece of wood between this lift and the router. I have to lock the router in its maximum lifting position. Time now to fix the vertical parts. For this, I will use glue, I will use screws, and some metal brackets for some extra reinforcement.
The structure for the lift is ready and looks like it's working. Now I have to fix the lift base to it so it doesn't spin. The only thing left now is a handle for the lifting, so you will see how I'll do it. For the final part of the handle I have prepared the 10 cm aluminum pipe. For the pipe there is a 6 mm screw with locking nuts at the ends of the pipe. Then the screw is attached to the wooden part of the handle. And this is how it works. Okay guys, so that was the episode about the lifting mechanism. The next one will be about how I build a rip fence for this router cable. And also then I will announce what will be the next project that I will publish. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the button in the top left corner. Thanks and stay safe. See you soon.